What's up fellow gamers? In this video, we're gonna show you how to use a Messen HD pack to update the look of the original Mega Man. It'll go from looking like this, to looking like this. So before I start, special thanks to Axel Rocks for creating this pack. Now, you already may be aware of a variant of this pack was created some time ago and posted on rhymehacking.net. But the author recently rewrote it from the ground up with a ton of new features, adding things like layered backgrounds and customization options. I just have to say, this latest pack is really well done. Anyway, to get the latest pack, go to rhymehacking.net and I'll have a link in the description of the video down below. And you're going to want to scroll down and download the latest version down here. In addition to that, you're going to need the emulator. Now, for this, you're going to want to go to the latest version by MKWong98. Now, you might be aware that there's a version of Messin that's on a main Messin website. Don't use that version because it's not compatible with the latest HD packs. It hasn't been in development for some time. But you're going to want to go down here and download the version that's compatible with your system. I have a 64-bit version of Windows, so I'm going to download that one. Alright, so once you have those two things downloaded, make sure to go to where you downloaded them. And first, we're going to want to unzip the Mason emulator. And I use a program like 7-Zip to have that done. We don't need that anymore. We're going to open it. So I'm going to store the data in the same folder as the application. And I'm going to uncheck this box here because I don't need a shortcut. I'm going to hit confirm. Next, you're going to want to create a folder in here. And you're going to want to title it HD Packs. Once that's done, go back to your downloads folder or where you downloaded the pack. And you can just copy it and paste it in here. Now, keep in mind, this is just a resource pack. You need the actual ROM of the game for this to work. Now, that's one portion I'm not going to be able to help you, so hopefully you have some luck on your end obtaining that. But assuming you have that ROM, in my case, I have it in my downloads folder, I'm going to open it up here. What you're going to want to do to make sure the two work with each other is you're going to want to copy the name of the ROM that you have. So I'm going to hit Control C and highlight this, which is the pack, and hit Control V and make sure the names match exactly. Now what should be inside is a bunch of PNG files and folders, and this should be everything that you need to get the pack to work. Right, now we can just see if it works. To do that, go back to where you have Messin installed. We're going to double click here. Go to File, Open. And you're going to want to navigate to wherever your ROM is. In my case, I have it here. And double click. All right, it looks like it works. Right, next, to make sure you can actually control this, you're going to want to make sure that you bind your controller to the emulator or bind your keyboard if you're going to use that. To do that, go to Options, Input, and go to Setup here, and press on the button you want to bind and then hit on your keyboard or your controller what you want to correspond to that. I'm just going to do that real quick. and hit OK. So there's another option I like to select that's not required, but I think it makes it look a little bit better. If you go to Options here in Video, you can check the box here that says Enable Vertical Sync. Now, a little bit of troubleshooting. If this pack isn't working, make sure that this box here that says Use HD Nest HD Packs is checked. Because if it's not, that could be one reason why your pack isn't working if you're running into issues. So what if you've done all this and the pack still doesn't work? There's something else you can do that actually helps a little bit if you're running into problems. Now to get started with this, first you're going to want to make sure that you go to where Eagerware Hatcher is located. And I'll have a link in the description of the video down below for that as well. You can download it by hitting this button here. And it should go into your downloads folder. We're going to go there. You're going to want to right click and extract it. Okay, get rid of this now. Double click and open it. Next, you're going to want to hit the browse button here. Go to wherever you have your ROM installed. In my case, it's in my downloads folder and double click on your ROM and then hit calculate. Now, a number should pop up here 
what you're going to want to do is highlight the whole thing and hit Control C to copy it and go back to where you have your Mason pack installed. So go back to HD packs, Mega Man, and look inside for a file called High Res. Double click on it. And what you do is highlight the every, everything that you have after this patch tag here. Delete it and then hit Control B and hit save. So now that we've saved it, you can go to file, exit, go back to mess in and make sure all the options here that you want are checked. And in my case, I actually want to use integer scaling as well, but then you hit OK and close this down and open it back up. Go to file, open, find your ROM, and it should be working now. Okay, so before I sign off, I just wanna mention some small optional features you can try with this pack. The first is overclocking. This is something that increases the performance requirements but if your PC can handle it, it has the potential to make the game run more smoothly. To do this, you navigate to Options, Emulation, Overclocking, and I had some conversations with the developer and they mentioned that one of the best settings that they use is 262. They didn't seem to have any problems with that. So you can experiment with some settings, but as far as a starting point, that seems to be a good starting point. Then you hit OK. And that should be it for overclocking. The next feature has to do with sprite flickering. You may notice that a lot of NES games sometimes contain sprites that flicker or flash on the screen. This is actually due to hardware limitations of the NES, but emulation can help overcome this a bit. Things won't be perfect with the setting, but it can often help. To execute this, you go to Options, Video, Advanced, and Remove Sprite Limit and then hit OK. The last feature I'm going to mention has to do with overscan options. Another quirk of the original Nintendo is that sometimes garbage graphics can be seen at the very edge of the screen. Normally, a CRT TV would cut off the very edges of the screen so you'd never see this junk, on original hardware that is. However, default settings on an emulator often show everything, sometimes including that junk. So to crop out some of these issues, you can try the following settings for Mega Man. What you can do is go to Options, Video, Overscan, and you can use these settings as, as a starting point and experiment as you see fit. So you go to 16, 8, 16, and 8, and then you hit OK. All right, so that's it. Again, special thanks to Axel Rocks for creating this pack, and I'm hoping this tutorial was useful and helps you all experience another great classic with some modern enhancements. Have fun playing the game that really kicked off the whole Mega Man franchise, and as always, happy gaming.